Ready? I'm ready. Three. <laughs> Wait a minute. Two. Hold on. All right. We'll count down from five. Ready? Okay. Five. Four. Feeling some wheelie. Three. Two. Two. I think one, I might have one. to piss. <laughs> Gotta take a piss right <laughs> as we start. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. You didn't. You didn't click it right. I didn't. At least I've Did been you drinking click? water. All right. You haven't recorded. You're recording. You're not recording, right? No, I've been recording. Uh, the thing is live. Well, not live, but it's. it's being Fuck. Recorded. We might need to. Re uh, what are? What is our intro? That is the intro. What, what it talking? do, gamer? I gotta <laughs> piss. I gotta take a Gosh. piss, bro. Gosh. All right. What it do, gamer dudes? Do that. Every time we start, we gotta say, "I gotta take a piss." <laughs> I'll be All right. right back. Yeah, well, I actually gotta piss. I'll be right back. Oh, come on, dude. Come on. Gonna leave us. Ah. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's the joke. I don't know how much space I have on my hard drive for an actual recording here. Um, we'll see. We'll see if it. It should be. Let me check. Let me check. It should be a good amount. Um, I got about 16 gigabytes of space, which is plenty for recording, so we're good. That's enough. That's enough, though. Like, Stop flexing. A 40, Stop. A 40-minute 1080p recording is like 2 gigabytes. Stop. So. Stop. Stop. Like, you can stop. You don't. Nah. Cut Gosh. it off. Stop right there. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's the podcast. I don't know. I've, I want to just, how how is y'all's day? Because I haven't really caught up with y'all yet, so. Dude, I, I'm so glad to be home. Yeah, so fucking glad to be home, dude. Oh I mean, God. I know, I know. You told me that Florida was kind of dog shit as a whole. Oh, Florida was ass, bro. There were sharks at the beach, like honest to God, sharks. Oh my God! Yeah. Like we saw the fit. Like okay, so the beach we went to, um, Navarre Beach. Mm -hmm. Um, there was like the way the coastline was was that there was like kind of a dip, and then there was a sandbar in the water. I know right? what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there was a sandbar that was higher elevation than, like, a little dip beforehand. And um, someone, there was, like, an elderly man standing at that <laughs> sandbar. And um, uh, someone noticed a fin poking out of the water behind him and then aptly screamed. Um, he did not get eaten. He did not get attacked. But they noticed a shark near him. So we, we went home that day and we resolved to go to the beach again the next day. Did um, the guy even move? Uh, he got out of the water when he noticed that he was like, oh! Oh, you know, I thought he would have like, just, like, sat there and just watched him. <laughs> no, 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 he was just, no, like, no. Um, just watching a movie. He didn't notice it because he was fishing. Um, uh, and then we went back the next day, and, you know, we were there for an hour, hour and a half, mm -hmm. and uh, we look out on the water, out on the horizon, because I'm just sitting in the chair after going out there for a bit. And you know what I notice is there's a fin poking out of the water not too far away, like a decent distance from the shoreline, but still kind of, kind of, kind of close by. I'm like, holy shit, that's a shark! So uh, we went home again, and um, then the next day I sat around the house with uh, the cat, and uh, we went home. And I spent 15 hours in the car. This is a big shark problem in Florida. Every time I've gone down there, well, I've... no, 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 like it's because we're we're in the Gulf. The Gulf and not the Atlantic. So you went all and the, the way Gulf. down. No, we went in like the inner, the inner thigh of Florida. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we weren't on the Panhandle. We were in, um, uh, we were we were in again. We were in Navarre. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Which is like not really too far, not very far down at all. Mm -hmm. you know, like it's still on mainland, quote unquote. Every time what we go we? down to Florida, we go down to Jacksonville, and Jacksonville's like right at the oh, tippy top. Oh. Yeah, like, yeah, we had to go. We went, we went west of yeah, We went west of Jacksonville. Gabe, what were you saying? What if it was just a rock? Like there, there wasn't a, there was no sharks. It was just a, it was just a, <laughs> a rock. rock just swimming by, just like, oh. Nah, yeah, we were oh. near the um Alabama. Yeah, we were near the um Alabama. Uh, Alabama state said. line. Alabama. A couple Austin more feet, and I could have had some fun with my uh, my stepdaughter. Yeah. Shut up, dude. Shut up. Oh. Be quiet. Oh my god. Austin and I, Austin and I know Alabama quite well. Oh yeah. Dude, I've been to Alabama too. Ah, uh, I've, I've been Alabama type shit. I've actually on some, never on a been to Alabama type beat. I, I've never been to Alabama. I've, the farthest south I've gone and actually like stayed was Florida. 
Like I, I went. I've been to Pennsylvania yeah, been to, up north. Uh, I've been to Louisiana. I've been to Texas. Um, I went to New Orleans once, and that was ooh quality. That sounds um, fun, dude. There was a crawfish festival going on. Best ooh. goddamn crawfish I've had in my life, dude. Not even, not even a. I tell you what, that was that was fucking good. The one time that I had crawfish, the meat was just way too. It was way too much effort for like the amount of meat you get, you know. Dude, like see, was so it way too chewy, you, or was it just like? It's hard. Just, you just ever like pass through there. I mean, crawfish is just so small. If you ever pass through there. No, no, no. Here's the thing. Here's what you got to do, right? You, you, you don't got to. You, you don't go to a place where you got to peel the crawfish yourself. Mm, nah, oh, I just nah, had the nah, meat for that. you. Okay. Miss me with that gay shit. Miss me with that gay That's shit. That's some what pussy do. shit. You don't pull your own. You don't pull your own crawfish meat, my guy. Nah, 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 nah. Here's what you do. You go to a restaurant called Papa Dough. Okay. It's in Atlanta, Georgia. Chef kiss, dude. Holy shit! You get something called the crawfish etouffee. My good sir, <laughs> it is the best goddamn food. So good, so goddamn good. Oh God, it's it, it's incredible. It's it's eye opening. Oh, it is. Papado has the best southern seafood, southern style. You know, whatever. Okay. Quality shit. Quality shit. It cannot be understated. Just how good that stuff is. Oh, it's 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 liquid gold. I went to. Nah, not that I'm aware of. Like, let me look it up. Sorry, um, Gabe, you go ahead. Nah, sp speaking on food, there's a little place that I like. I really like. It's it's so good, dude. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's called uh, McDonald's. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, yeah. It, oh, it, dude it, I know, I know about that. I think I've been there a couple hole. times. <laughs> That's where a homeless gym, <laughs> you know, stays out during the nighttime. Whenever oh, they give me yeah, three extra that, ketchup that, packets, when they actually put napkins in my bag. It's a good day for everybody. Oh. Amen. Oh, uh, McDee's, dude. We went. We were on the road. We got. We had like a lot of good food because um, you guys my brother in law. Fast food? Nah, we didn't have any fast food. We went. We went to uh, when we stopped at a gas station. There was this Italian joint nearby, and we got Ooh. takeout from there. Dude, I got a calzone. Pizza. Pizza. Oh, oh my god, dude! That calzone was. Well, sorry. That calzone was good shit, my dude. God's that was in. honest, honest to God. That little shitty Italian joint. I did not have high expectations of it, but that is some of the best Italian food I've had. It's just McDonald's, I was but with cow very beans. impressed. Oh, be quiet. It wasn't even like a fast food joint. It didn't have a drive-through. We had to wait ten minutes outside. Oh yeah. Oh, so they had takeout. They didn't have any like dining yet. They had takeout. Yeah, they had takeout because the funny, funny coronavirus. Oh, how is Florida handling the whole? Uh, quarantine thing. Like, are they still? They're not. <laughs> They're not. <laughs> <laughs> Navarre is a remote island. But like, what about? Oh, about, oh. Like, no, 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 about, like, like I don't know. I was only in Navarre. Uh, we, 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 mm, we, 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 not. Mm. Do I stutter? Um, we did not. We did our best to avoid any large locations. But from what we saw in the gas stations and shit, there was the occasional person wearing a mask. But overall, they were very lax. Um, I guess it's because they already had their spike way back. Oh, I mean, definitely. The, uh, the it's only really bad down in like Miami and the big yeah. inner cities, which we avoided. We went, we lo we took like a, a fifteen minute detour to avoid going around, going through Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. Like we took yeah. two ninety five around because they have an interstate two ninety five there too. Fucking thought, and we took two ninety five around Jacksonville to just kind of you know. Because uh, I don't like I don't I don't like Jacksonville. In fact, I've uh, I will go on record to say that if there is a um, approximation on Earth to the ninth circle of hell, it's Jacksonville, Florida. It's not that bad. I've I've been. It's there pretty before. bad. I've, it's pretty bad. I've, I've been there, there during for weeks at a time. And trust it me, dude, bad. it's not that. It bad. is bad. They have a it Walmart is, there. It can't be that bad. I've oh, been to Walmart. I know what you're Walmart. talking about. You know, I stay at the Quality Inn nearby Gabe, you every know, time we go down. Gabe, you know what else they have there? McDonald's. McDonald's. And guess what? They're open 24-7. I shit you not. They're open 24 hours, 7 days a week. Every yeah, day, including Sunday. It's yeah, they, oh, unbelievable. I, 
I have a McDonald's to attend to. We gotta cut this podcast short. We gotta cut it short, dude. We, we gotta we gotta go to Mickey <laughs> D's. Going to Jacksonville. Specifically in Jacksonville. Going to Mickey D's. Going to Mickey D's. Run real quick. I'm out. I'm out. Come on. Oh man, come on. Get order. Come Uber on. Eats. Right. Uber eats that shit. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Specifically from Jacksonville. For a McDonald's. <laughs> Yo, it's not man. even gonna be like a good order. It's gonna be like a fish fillet. That's it. That With no fish. No bun. Fish. No fish. <laughs> Just, just the bread. You're like going through the drive-thru? Yeah, I'll get a fish fillet, no fish, no bread, no bag. Just give me the fillet, okay? Just give me that. That's all I want. No fish, only fillet. Fillet that shit up. Drop the O. <laughs> Don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I, 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 uh, I have some topics for us right here. Okay. So, would you rather have one eye or three eyes? I, oh, three eyes, dude. What you mean? Gabe, yeah, I want your That's opinion on this one. I would rather have one eye. What that? Nah, dude, three eyes. Three I eyes. I feel like centering... I'm sure that I've awakened my inner gamer. See, I, I, I most connect with a Cyclops. Oh. Cyclops are large. If you're going to have one eye, I feel like it should be in the middle of your chest so you have an excuse to go shirtless. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I was going to put it, on, I was gonna put it like, on my arm. I don't know why. I just wanted it on my arm. An eye on your hand, perhaps? Oh, you can, like, oh my god, you can, like, you're like, <laughs> you, like you can have an eye on your forehead and two eyes on your hands, dude. You just open them up whenever you're like, hey, buddy. You can, like, stick your arm around the door and, like, look around the door and, like, spy on somebody. Yo, that's oh, sweet. that would actually be dope. That is sweet. Put it on your fingertips like, or something, just, you know? Uh, put, put one on each fingertip. Oh, you're pulling out someone, you open your eye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy, I see. That's or maybe you, you keep your eyes open, and then, like, you <laughs> wink the eye at someone when you do finger guns. <laughs> <laughs> you wink the eyes when you do finger guns, like, hey. Yeah, but when you, like, cry, does it just leak out of your finger? Yeah. Oh. Finger gets wet. Ugh. Ugh. Nice. Oh, nice. dude, imagine. Oh, oh, I just thought of something horrific. No. What, if you, what if you had your eyes on your ass cheeks? Like, one on each what if cheek. You got a pay, what if you got a paper cut? Ooh. Ooh. Now I'm thinking about... Fuck. The more you think about it, the worse it gets. <laughs> yeah. Why would oh. you say that? Why would you say that? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. I've got one even worse, honestly. No, stop. No. You, can stop. you can stop whenever you want. <laughs> uh, right now you can literally stop right now you don't have to uh, keep going i kind of want to no. this is a rabbit hole i feel like going down no all right so you got an eye on your finger mm. right <laughs> well, you got don't, an eye on your don't, finger. Don't, don't i know no i know where you're going i know where you're going Jacob. You got an eye on your finger, no. dude. right so what happens what happens if you uh if you're going to wipe your ass and your finger oh. goes oh. there oh. <laughs> oh. Not, One toilet paper. I listen, dude. Sometimes I'm thinking something worse. But. Sometimes it's just it's hard to hit the spot, and sometimes the finger you got that one ply, your finger goes right through the paper. And listen, dude, it happens. In your ass. It happens to the best. Dude, that's just an extra. Speaking of fingering, what happens if uh, if it's a woman? What what what, what happens that? Yeah, you, you just I got an eye on the end of your finger. You get to see the insides. I don't know. Oh god, that's disgusting. What, what, don't women just have a butthole? Like, is, isn't that all? Like, but shut the fuck up. It, they just have a butthole, right? There's nothing else down there. Nah, dude. What's down there? <laughs> the clitoris. What is that? What the fuck? Is that? <laughs> is that in, not know what that is. Is that in the butt? <laughs> nah. <laughs> all right, all right, boys. <laughs> all right. Is that the middle of the eye? Alright, so y'all know the Pokemon <laughs> Oh god, y'all know the Pokemon Cloyster? <laughs> <laughs> okay, god. Yeah, yeah, I know you're talking about. <laughs> they got one of those down there. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, Wait. Here, visual accompaniment, I'll show you what I mean. You just turn it sideways, and boom, you got the female the female body. Wait. <laughs> Cloisters are in real life? They got a clam down there. They got a clam next to Yeah, that. this is a cloister. This is a cloister. Here, here, here. In case you don't know what I'm talking Cloisters? about. Cloister? I, I'm going to yeah. take a look at this. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, my. It's not even that inaccurate, is the sad thing. Wait, they have a horn down there? Nah, nah, the, that's the clitoris. 
What's a clitoris? Let's not do this on a podcast. Not the first one. Not the first one. We can go down the next podcast. If we do this again. Well, you know, this is a podcast, right? So some people are going to listen without visuals. Like, they'll sometimes just put on like, All right, audio. Cloyster is kind of like, in case, it looks like a pussy. There you go. What is a pussy, dude? Google. All right. Okay, I'll Google it. <laughs> All right, Vagina works I'm, just as well. I... <laughs> I'm sad we put us on this topic. All right, so cats or dogs, guys? Why? Okay, look. Cats or dogs? What? Listen, cats, listen, right. cats or dogs? I don't. Cat or dog guy. Dogs, 100%. Dogs. And here's why. Dogs. Here's why. I think that dogs have, I, mean, I think both cats and dogs have capacity for love, all right? I just think dogs are better at expressing it. You can, you can be rougher. I, and I'm not saying, like, abusive, but you can be rougher when you're playing with a dog, you know? And, like show affection in a different way than you would a cat. A cat, you just kind of rub it. A dog, you can genuinely... A dog, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I was going to say what I was gonna say is a dog you can play with. You can throw a dog a toy, it'll go get the toy, run back, and bring it to you. A cat will look at you like you're fucking autistic if you throw something. <laughs> okay, all right. I thought you were just going to end it as you could throw a dog. You could throw a dog. <laughs> then again, you I could throw like... a cat. I don't know. Okay, but the, the cat would land on the his cat feet. Would the land on his feet. The cat would be fine. The dog would fucking explode. So you know, <laughs> uh, yeah, you, know? you know. All right, next topic. That was all right. Topic. Um. All right. So, would you rather be stupid or rather be poor? Ooh, that's a. I feel like if you're poor, you're gonna have the. You're gonna have like the capacity to get out of that. Because if you're but smart, if... you know, you'll never have to worry about. Because what you'll do is you can just think of a way to work out of that get out of that situation whereas if you're stupid you're kind of stuck well what, what, I mean, what are you gonna do what are I you gonna think, do if you're stupid Honestly, i think this question. means for life so you're either poor for life you're either in poverty forever or well, you you're didn't specify stupid forever. that i'm i'm just i i mean i got this off of reddit i'll be honest either be stupid for I, I if it's a matter of forever like poor forever versus stupid forever I'd rather be stupid forever. But if you're stupid, you're probably also going to be poor because you have nah, money there's management. There's jobs you can work. There's there's jobs. Yeah, but I, I work with don't that don't really require intelligence. You could always yeah. do you know manual labor intensive jobs, construction. But I get by saying that you wouldn't be poor, but if you're poor, you're not stupid. But if you're so. stupid, you're probably poor because you're not good at saving money. You're not good at holding yeah. on to money. You know. Well, that doesn't. I, I guess mean, that I'm doesn't not saying stu- all stupid people are poor. I don't think this is poor. a good topic, to be honest. I'm just saying people who have less intelligence probably are not going to be as good with money, so they're most likely going to be more. Well, I wouldn't say that that's the case. You can be wise and stupid. Well, you can yeah. be like stupid street smarts wise. You can be stupid in a good number of ways. I think this implied like book smart, kind of stupid. Like kinda, I think this is stupid. like. I think this is saying like lacking of common sense. Well, then, like yeah. if someone asked, yeah. No, I'd rather be poor then. Yeah, no, I would rather be I think poor. I'd rather be poor. All right. Because good. I mean, if, I mean, look, if, soup if I'm kitchens. Poor... All right, I, I've got a new, to- I've got a topic, a real good topic, the best topic. Who's Pretty getting not. the best? Head? All right, let's <laughs> Alvin, talk about it. Or, or, um, Listen, buddy, Simon. I've done extensive research on this topic, and i got to say. It's Alvin, bro. It's Alvin. Theodore's getting the best schlop top. And I'll, I'll give you my video essay. My te- Here's my TED Talk on why Theodore's getting the best schmuck, you know? All right, the, I got I got to look at this image real quick. The best 7-Eleven slurpy myself. derpy, you know? $5 oh, foot long. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> All right. Five dollar foot long. You listen to Damn. me, and I'll tell you why Theodore's getting the best brain. All right, the, the best, <laughs> the best, the best neck. Topic. I'll tell you. All right, listen, dude. If Theodore's Theodore's uh, girlfriend, you gotta you gotta take a look at the circumstance here, right? Oh my God, Theodore's open mouth. Yeah, you're right. You take a look at someone like her. You can tell she 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 got them cheeks. She can store up some meat, right? <laughs> she got that vacuum seal gawk gawk double twist 3000 ready to go oh, it's on standby you think she got that gorilla grip coochie <laughs> I think she could stomp on Theodore's cock and make him bust dude I, I do that why do you think that we all know it's true 
don't gotta think it. <laughs> we it's, know it's it. Common sense. Is this the part where you're coming in by being stupid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, mean, Theodore's yeah. obviously getting the best head. He's eyes closed, fucking mouth wide Man's open. Throwing his head back, grabbing on the couch, whatever they're sitting on. He's, he's that's the couch. He's he's fucking busting a couple fatties out here. He's feeling it. And then meanwhile, you got Simon, who's probably getting that like calculated head, but it's not like that raw. Nah, nah he's getting. He, he looks like he's in pain. Yeah, he's getting the teeth. <laughs> and then Alvin's Whoa. Alvin's getting Alvin, it's like throwing hot dog. It like a hot dog. Alvin's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. That mouth has seen so much action. It's like at this point <laughs> you're not gonna feel anything. You're just gonna <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna rattle around in there. <laughs> like a bur- holy shit, that like was... a marble, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Like a marble, like two Theodore. marble. Theodore, his his girlfriend's just let's <laughs> get. You know, right on top of it. Oh my god, shut the fuck up. It's got why, me- did you make th- why did you make this visual? <laughs> it's got what me- is this supposed to mean? Please. It's got, me feeling, got, me, it's got me feeling some kind of way. I'm just, I just gotta say it. No, all right, all right, all right. Fair. For real though, like, who is... I? It's Theodore. It's Theodore? obviously Theodore. On God. Yeah, I would say Theodore, to be you honest. So, He's just throwing his head back, eyes closed, open mouth. Out here like it, looking now, like a Japanese girl. Now we we have to we have, apologize. We got to think about this. All right, we have to flip it around now. Who's getting the best dick? Uh, Brittany, is Hold that on, her name? Let me, Brittany. Let me look at this. Let me look this one up. What are their names? I'm sorry, I forgot their names. Who getting who getting the best pipe? Like who's laying the best pipe? Who's laying the pipe? Who's laying the pipe? Let's see it. Okay, so, um. Brittany, Jeanette, and Eleanor. All right, right, okay. 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 So, who's getting the Brittany best? Brittany is almost yeah. Who's getting the best? It's obviously, it's ah, uh, dude. All right, so Jeanette's keeping her mouth closed, just like what the fuck? Yeah, like what is Eleanor this short is, dick? <laughs> like she's screaming in pain, and Brittany's out here looking like she's straight out of a hentai. Well, Brittany's. Like, got that's the, I think Brittany that's has experience. Guy. Brittany, I don't think it's fair to say that. Yeah, um, Brittany. I, Brittany looks like a little bit of a thought, but unless Alvin's packing <laughs> that shit down hallways, unless Alvin's hot dog packing down that hallways. No, 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 no. But think about it. Brittany's looking away, so Brittany's not showing Alvin. So it's not like she's putting on the face for Alvin, right? But like, so I think I think that shit's genuine. So maybe so, Al, maybe Alvin's packing it, bro. Brit- Dude, Brittany's Jeanette, getting... here's the thing, right? Jeanette's the nerd, right? Jeanette's the nerd. Mm-hmm. Don't say she's so tight. That means she's probably a virgin or something, or at least she's had very little. These are goddamn yeah. chipmunks. Let's not put that in here. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about chipmunk sex now, boys. <laughs> I'm pretty sure all of them are virgins. Let's be honest; they're fucking chipmunks. No, when I'm oh, done with them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! You're out I here kinda, like, fucking wild. Then. Look, look, I kind of set you up for that, look, and I. Right. It's stupid. Brit- I think we, we can all agree Brittany's getting that Chad Thundercock, right? Oh, <laughs> oh my god, dude. Yeah, Brittany's getting that Chad Thundercock 100%. I think, she's, uh, get- I think she's getting the best pipe, if I'm being honest. How is Theodore's hands situated? Know, it's, 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 like, it's like it's weird. It's weird looking. It's weird looking. I'm not, I'm not giving it You want to visualize this for the people who are going to only hear this? Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. let, me show you, let me show you. I want to, it's like, um, it's like that. That is he's like holding your legs back. Uh, yeah. he's oh, her from behind. Ooh. It's weird. That it looks weird. painful. That like he's twisting her legs. <laughs> like, <whoa. laughs> all right, I'm I'm gonna strong arm us away from this one. All right, so. um, what games have y'all been playing? What games? Um, yeah. honestly, dude, for me, it's been Minecraft and Subnautica. I, uh, mm. So Subnautica Below Zero just recently got a new update, like a huge oh, right, overhaul. Right. Like they completely yeah, redid the story, and it, it's not working right now. They took out all of the old voice lines, took out all the old cinematics, and, and they're they, adding new ones. Yeah, yeah. So right now everything's kind of blank. There's subtitles for what the characters are going to say, but they don't have any voice lines recorded yet. So it's just the game's kind of silent right now. You know, like there's not a lot of noise. But I got gotcha. you. The, the base gameplay is still there, and the base gameplay is fun. They still got the new vehicle. They still got, you know, 
uh, I guess new exploration, new areas to explore. Like there's a cold system now where you can freeze to death. Ooh, that's a, oh, that's interesting. Hmm. But not all of the areas are fleshed out. Like there's an area where there's supposed to be like a a heat worm that goes underground and it like pops up and it's like a boss fight. But I went there and it just kind of like goes around and pops up and then glitches back into the ground a second later. Oh, so it's like how the um the sea dragon was. Kind of like when you it was can, first implemented, where can, it didn't really aggro and it didn't really do much. It just kind of stood. It there aggros and, and it can kill you, but it like glitches in and out of the ground. It's supposed to like claw through the ground because it's like it's it's got a nose that's like a heat sickle and it like goes through the ice. It like tunnels through the ice. It's a worm, and it's uh, supposed to come out of the ground and fight you, but. It like only, you you see it going through the ground like it's kicking up snow, but at the same time it doesn't so like pop taking up. place. So what is the plot in relation to the original Subnautica? So after the first game ended, your guy escapes the planet, he gets back to uh, Altera, these space people, and then Altera goes back to the planet and sends like a bunch of scientists down to the surface, and your group uh, is in charge of the Antarctic area. And so apparently in that area, there was a lot of research going on in regards to the virus from the first game. So there's like right. research bases there. There's like medical facilities, and there's Did these shit again on accident. Well, yeah, you're sp- you're like being transported to the surface, and you get a meteor shower hits, and like your craft gets knocked out of the path it was supposed to be on. But like the plot follows you as you're like subverting Altera, like you're going beneath their nose to do your own research, and like you know, find your own way through the alien stuff. Cause like, you yeah. Sh- Cause Altera is like a dictatorship. Like anything they find on that planet, it's theirs. They claim it, their research, like they exploit it, that kind of thing. So your right. character kind of like, they work for Altera, but they're kind of going underneath the radar to like, you know, vigilante it. And there's these guys called the architects and they're like robots from the alien race. Or they- oh yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. And those were the well, guys. I know the lore of the first game. So they kind of like so, move their. I, I remember, so it does take place after the first game because I remember in gameplay footage seeing um, the Sea Emperors, which in the first game, you know, the whole goal was to make sure that the Sea Emperor could reproduce. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And have kids. It is after, guess, It is set after the first game. And I guess it takes place so long that now they're just kind of a regular site. Yeah, they kind of spread around, and I guess they cure the powers. Powerful. Mm-hmm. I, I know in the earlier versions of uh, Below Zero that you could see some sea emperors swimming around. I have yet to see one. But then again, I have really explored too much. I kind of stayed near the surface so far. I don't. I can't. I've been. I've having trouble finding the new oxygen tank. But uh, so far, it, it's it's a different vibe. Instead of like going around the floor and like scanning for fragments, you kind of unlock. You have to unlock the fragments. They're all there for you. You just have to find them. Like PDAs I get, you and stuff. Have to go through the, you have to go through the um, surface a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot more than you did in the first game where there was two islands and that was it. Yeah, the first game it was like kind of like each area had specific stuff and you knew where everything was. In this game it's like stuff could be anywhere, yeah. you know? Yeah, I got you. I got you. Hmm. As a whole though, the game's pretty solid for alpha stage. I think it, I mean, obviously it's pretty copy and paste gameplay. But, like, for the story, they got a good start. I feel like if it works, it works. I don't think there's a lot they can do to improve. No, yeah, they, there's nothing but... they could really improve on. I mean, they... I mean, I the only issue is that combat Ooh, should yeah. be... Combat's combat a little scuffed. But it, I feel, yeah, it feels... Yeah, it was scuffed in the first game a lot. It was scuffed very hard in the first game. Because the game really never... Uh, Didn't focus never... on com- combat. No, in fact, you were incurred... You were given tools to run away. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like there should have been an option to fight back. There kind of was with the uh, torpedoes. You could put the on knife. your. You could put torpedoes Torpedo on your um. See, the knife. The knife was dog shit. Well, it was the just knife was dog shit. Yeah. That's just facts. I mean, in the new I game, never... hits collide a little bit better. Like they they connect more, but like there's still the stupid weird thing. Like when you kill an animal, it just starts like having a seizure, but it doesn't actually huh. physically die. It's like a weird animation glitch when you kill it. It's like mm-hmm. it's not supposed to die, kind of thing. Yeah, I get you. Hmm. But it's still in development, right? Oh, like yeah. you said, there. Oh yeah, early it. alpha. Yeah, they're working on it. Uh, they've been putting out pretty the frequent updates in the game. Like, ooh, okay, so it's like, how do I explain it? Because I, because re- that was the highlight of Subnautica for me was seeing all the massive fucking 
creatures that we there's just no eat reaper by. leviathan so far uh there's gonna be one or do you think that no. they're gonna explain it in lore as oh hey it's just it's it a lives it lives part of the planet. yeah mm -hmm. it lives in near warm the water it can't live near yeah. uh cold areas so but there are there is a new reaper class um and there is a reaper there's like a leviathan class in the lower levels it's called i think the shadow leviathan it's like dark and it's got an arrow I've for a head. That. that looks sweet. It's pretty cool. But the thing that's like near the top that you can find pretty early on, I forget what it's called. Like a, it's called like a clefagus or something like that. It it basically has a mouth that opens up like like a mole, like a kind of alien style. It goes out. And oh it, yeah, I know what you're talking about. It's long. It's red. It looks like a, a redfish, but it it's it makes ter it's terrifying, dude. I'm not gonna lie. They did very well making it scary. I got oh my you. god. I just looked up Shadow Leviathan and fucking this shit looks like an SCP. Yeah, they yeah. always they, they nailed that in the first game. They also Probably. nailed the water physics, like swimming. Oh, it feels so good, dude. They Yeah, in the first game, I remember how they really nailed the, um, the, the feeling that, hey, you're on an alien planet. These do not resemble anything mm -hmm. that would live on Earth. Would you, know, you say... You the ghost Sorry. leviathans specifically. Ooh, those were terrifying, dude. Those were crazy. They were like glowy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, incredible. That's fucking terrifying. It is. Well, it is what was the thing that you found early on? Um, it, you're probably just gonna want to look up like below zero, and then just type in C, and then like E or something. It starts with a C. That's all I know. Chelicerit. Yeah. Chelicric, something like that. It's not that scary looking. It's the things it does. It's super fast and it's 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 loud. You can hear it from a ways away. Does it does its mouth do like? Yeah, yeah. Walk? It like opens yeah, okay, out like okay. an alien, like a like a mole, you know. Damn, that's crazy. And it can two shot you. And there's they add. Okay, that's another thing. They added these new animations for when a creature kills you. It actually swallows you whole, like eats you, instead oh. of just like killing you. The death animation is it like pulling you into its mouth and you, everything just goes black, you know? So I thought that was pretty cool. That's actually pretty cool. Like its own like death. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, and yeah, okay. So far I found three creatures that have that. There's just like plant underwater that like shoots a vine at you and pulls you in and eats you. There's a squid shark, which can, it's it looks like the, the what was it called? The ch chirikin, ch chirikin, the, the new ch reaper. Yeah. Um, the chelicerit? Yeah, yeah. The squid chart looks like that. It's just a little bit smaller. It's like a smaller scale, but it can also, like, swallow you whole. And then there's, you know, the big one that can eat you. I think it's cool that they, like, went the extra mile to add those animations. I mean, you can tell they put a lot of work into the game. Um, wow. I don't, know, I don't know if it has the same soul as the first one. Obviously, sequels aren't going to have the same amount. I mean, sequels are sequels. You know, the first one's, in my opinion, always going to be the best no matter what. But... I think so well, far they the, did. Sorry, because it's the original. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But I just feel like with this new one, they've actually done a really good job of like capturing the Subnautica feel. It's obviously pretty foreign right now because it's a new game. But I think as as they work on it and they put more effort in and put more you know more updates, more patch notes, all that, and really just more heart and soul into it, it's gonna really feel like a Subnautica game more than just like a oh you're trapped on an alien world, but. You know, it's the same planet as the first game kind of thing. Yeah, I don't think they've done a super great job of that. Definitely not with the new in one. It, yeah, in, May, in the new one, is making it feel like you're on the same planet. Yeah, because, I mean, it, at least with the ice, because there's, like, these huge I ice drifts. I got to make it, like, have an identity of its own, but I feel like there would be... Hmm, I don't know. Well, it, I suppose that does make sense, because, you know, on Earth... There's not a whole lot of wildlife that you would catch near the equator mm -hmm. up in the Arctic. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. completely different creatures. That makes sense. It's weird, though, because, like, there's a lot of creatures in the game that just don't have a function yet. Like, there's these sea monkeys, and they can, like, steal your shit. But other than that, they just kind of, they're there, you know? And then there's some other creatures that I think attack you, but they every time I go near them, they just don't do anything. And there's, it's just a, it's a lot to take in for a new game, no, but I'm just glad they added new stuff instead of just copy and pasting it over and like adding some ice. You know, that's 
that's what I like is they actually went you know went the extra distance and they added new locations new story you know because they could have taken the easy way out they could have just said all right cool it's the same game but instead of a floater island we're gonna have a iceberg so they really went all out on this one and I, I appreciate that coming from the developers that's nice yeah. Speaking of games, what are y'all's favorite games? Xenoblade Chronicles. Yeah, I can see from your uh, PFP. <laughs> see, that's a tough one. I don't know. I uh, right now I've been playing so much Minecraft. I don't. I don't know what else I really enjoy. Um, favorite game of all time? That's hard to say because, like, I've enjoyed a lot of games, but um, one this of the is including board games, by the way. I'd say games? all of my favorite of my favorite game. I like Checkers a lot. I also like um, I also like Sorry. Sorry's really so, fun. Sorry's good. As I... for, as for um, actual games, uh, my top three would have to be, you know, Xenoblade Chronicles, obviously number one. Um, number two's hard, but I know number three is definitely Dark Souls three. Mm-hmm. Maybe number two is Smash Brothers. I don't know. Yeah, that mm-hmm. makes sense. Yeah, that would yeah, Smash Brothers or Pokemon, one of the two. Yeah, I think I if I had to choose, like one of my most cherished cherished games of all times is probably Battlefield Four. I grew up on that, you know. I would play it on the 360 with my friend, uh, a couple of my friends, dude. It's just that game really spoke to me because it was like a, it just it had it all, you know, like the big open combat, and then you had the smaller areas, and I just. I had so much fun with it. Like we had a blast. I it wasn't, understand. It wasn't always about like not winning. My not my scene, but I do understand. That's yeah, yeah. Hundred hours in Counter. <laughs> Dude, mm-hmm. count- let's talk about Counter Strike. What is happening that to that game, game right now? now? That game is shit now. Like, what it's happened? Shit. What they what they do to it? They changed like weapon uh, sounds. They made it. They took away a lot of the unrealistic aspects that made Counter Strike Counter Strike to na- to where now it's just another. Now it's just kind of a generic shooter. Hmm. With mediocre gameplay, it that it kind of ba- it used to be, you know, competitive like a, the competitive game. I know that, but I feel like even if it's not dead, it's definitely uh, a lot less popular than it once was. I think uh, a part of the start of the downfall was adding a battle royale and making it free. No, yeah, definitely that. The fifteen dollar price tag always kept away some of the hackers. But mm-hmm. now, if you try to start an, a free-to-play account, it, it's it's littered with it. it yeah. The game's littered with hackers because it's so easy to hack in Counter-Strike. I just, ever since that update came out where they made it free, they added, uh, I don't even know what the Battle Royale mode is called. Yeah, That's how stupid it is. Flat, it's, um, or, no, I just zone. genuinely did not enjoy that game mode at all. It, no one did. it did not it's feel like I, Counter-Strike in the slightest. It didn't. It really didn't. Counter Strike has always been fun for it, quote unquote fun, for its competitive game mode and its death matches. Mm-hmm. And Danger that, that Zone. Was, Danger Zone, yeah, I'm sorry. That's stupid. Speaking it's, of another game that kind of had a failed Battle Royale, Battlefield 5. Firestorm. Battlefield was awful from the start. Yeah, it yeah, was, they really. I think they could have pulled it back if they, like, right from the beginning, right when it launched, if they had just gone back and redid everything right from there. Like after the trailers and everything, they probably could have brought it back. Like adding the Russian front, adding, you know, an actual storyline that made sense and not fucking robotic arm people. Um, I don't understand that. Prosthetics were not that advanced by that point. No, it, they were trying to push an agenda with the game, or they were trying to sell more copies by pushing that agenda. And I think that's I don't ridiculous. Care. That's not what I games. Think having a woman protagonist is fine because it's not like women didn't fight World War Two. Yeah, no, but it just I. I don't like how it was forced. It felt forced, and that's why it wasn't good. That's why it didn't work. It was just a boring... I'm going to be honest. I feel like the Battlefield in general nowadays is just a boring, mediocre shooter. I felt like Battlefield 1 was very special. Like It did a lot of things right, and then Battlefield 5 was just a clusterfuck. They almost could have brought it back after the Pacific announcement, like when they launched the Pacific update. Because that, a lot of people, it resonated very well with them. And they kind of got the fan base back on for a little bit. But then they just didn't do anything. They didn't do anything with that update. At all. 
So you guys kind of grew up on like um like FPSs, right? I did, yes. First person shooters, no. Hmm. Okay. What kind of games did you grow up on then? Like uh like open world kind of games? Uh Nintendo um, yeah, actually. When I was um my formative years, middle school, um I pl- I didn't really play shooters so much as I played like a lot of um Fallout. Oh. And that was the first rated M game I ever even played. Like that type shit. Hmm. That type of beat. I want to say the first. Sorry, you go ahead. My bad. No, nah, you go, you go. I want to say the first rated M game I ever played was Halo Four. Or no, 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 no definitely Halo Three. Halo Three. I, was never, the first. I never played Halo growing up because I, the only the the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty I had was dedicated to playing Sonic games. <laughs> yeah, yeah. dude, hours. we played Sonic games at your house. That was fun. Yeah, that was fun. And then we we played uh we tried to play Dark Souls One for five minutes. And then we played Minecraft on the 360. Dude, okay. That was great. Park. That was actually great. Minecraft on the 360 is kinda so s- different from modern it's Minecraft. It's kind of scuffed. I'm not going to lie. It was always scuffed. That, that was the appeal. That was the appeal. Yeah. I don't know. I was never an FPS guy. I, I only really? play FPS. No. I've never been an FPS that much. Um... Yeah, it's neither just, was I, neither was I. The Counter-Strike is more so the exception than it is the rule. Yeah, kind of same. Like, I, I play FPS to have fun, not to play FPS. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I, and that's why I can't get into I, it, because I'm mad at them. I respect that. It drives me up the wall. For me, though, usually I play FPS. I mean, I, I can have fun in FPS and play it, but sometimes, I, most of the time, I play to win, almost. Or just do good, and when I'm not doing good, I'm not really having fun with it. I, yeah. I know that sounds stupid, the same way no, with like Bed Wars. That's... Same thing with Bed Wars. Like I can have fun with Bed Wars, but I'd also like to, you know, not suck at it. Yeah, I understand. It's just like me. I'm more of a kind of, I guess, laid back gamer. Yeah, quote unquote. I'm not. I'm sweaty. That's my issue too. I take things. Too I'm serious. sweaty. I'm, I'm super sweaty when it comes to certain games like Smash Brothers. Oh, oh my oh, god. I <laughs> oh. Fifty hours, and I'm. Dude, I clown. I demolish Zach. Has he been practicing against you? Yeah, he, we play regular. We played regularly while I was um, in Florida. Oh, okay. That's some a game that I kind of want to get better at because it's like it's such a party game, and I love party games so much. Party games. So, I, would, I would say really whether or not it's a party game depends entirely on how you play, and I feel like that's one of the best things about it. In that, due to its large roster and its um, unique gameplay style, it makes for an interesting competitive game. Like that's why Melee is so hyped up because it's it's really the only platform fighter that yeah. is regularly shown at you know Evo at these big events. Like Smash Brothers has gotten so huge competitively that it even has its own events. Mm-hmm. That's Super true. Smash Con, um, that reminds me about something I wanted to talk about. What? What's up? So, you know how all the E3, Xbox, PlayStation announcements all oh, moved yeah. online? Has there been any news? On, I know there was that... Uh, re- there, was there was the a- PS5 reveal, and I am at... Dude, the PS hype reveal. The PS5 reveal? There was a lot of hype shit. It looks like, like a Wi-Fi are, router. It, it looks like a Wi-Fi router, to be sure. But <laughs> the game, the launch titles for that game, for that console actually make me consider buying it. Oh, it's going to have some good exclusives. I know that. It has so many good exclusives. But Spider-Man Miles Morales. See my no what I was what I was getting at I, is like ha, has there been any more announcements on the new Xbox or like any game announcements? Because I know no. they I know they Nintendo has Nintendo's 2020 has in um entirely consisted of Animal Crossing and then Xenoblade. Cuz I know that Xbox a couple weeks ago had that quote unquote gameplay trailer for Assassin's Creed, even though it was just a bunch of cinematics. It was just a bunch of cinematics. It's, I know that's ridiculous, dude. Like I, <sighs> yo, I actually got, I actually got to use the bathroom really bad. Gotta take a piss. Yeah, I, 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 just I gotta, get a bucket, dude. Come on. Nah. No, but I, I've been so hyped for Halo Infinite. Like that's the big thing I'm excited for this year, and there's been no news on it because Xbox has taken their sweet ass time to release their console. Like, 
Yeah. It's it's weird how I feel on like console games cuz I was the first game I the first video game I ever played was GTA 4. Uh and that was probably the worst game that I played because that <laughs> gave me Okay, okay. You I'm prefacing this. You could do some fucked up this. shit in GTA 4. I that's true. I only disliked it because I could never find out how to get the fucking the fuck what the jetpack <laughs> mm, made me pissed off. It was so. As I was saying, the PS5 angry. has a oh, oh sorry, am I interrupting? Nah, it's good. You, well, Gabe was talking about GTA 4. <laughs> okay. It's just I I I I have pure unrelated anger at that game because I could not get the jetpack. Is it like a cheat code, or is it something you just I, find? I, I, I don't remember, to be honest, and I don't want to remember. Dude, I, I, all I know is that people were super hyped when they saw the Rockstar logo pop up for the PS5 review, and it was oh all Oh my like god. The PS5 Have before. you seen the memes where they talk about like Dude, Rockstar yes. milking the shit out of GTA 5? <laughs> They're milking it harder than Bethesda milk Skyrim, and even Skyrim has announced the sixth game, and even The Elder Scrolls has announced the sixth game. When is that even coming out? No one knows. We just had, we just got a logo at E3 20, uh, 2018 or twenty. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, I saw that. That was weird. That was kind of sus. People were hype. Dude, Bethesda's E3 conferences lately have sucked ass. Bethesda sucks in general, dude. Bethesda's just fucking dicking Bethesda us down. Bethesda has one thing going for them, and it's the fact that they own Doom. Like, honestly. Ooh, yeah. They have lost so much public goodwill over Fallout 76 alone. Because Fallout 4 got critical acclaim. Fallout 4 got so much hype for it, even if it was probably the most mediocre modern Fallout. I thought it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. It was good, but I not as good as 3 or 4 or, or New Vegas. Like, both of those shit on Fallout 4. They have more interesting quest lines. They have better written stories. Hmm. Like, the only difference is that 4 has a mediocre... Uh, where has a mediocre building system it's kind of non counterintuitive or non-intuitive uh, all i know is that I, I don't like it it ain't too fun yeah definitely meant for controller players because it's so much easier to build with a controller than it is to build with a mouse and keyboard it's like one of the hardest things i think i've done because you have to use the scroll wheel to like go between the blocks but the scroll wheel also changes the distance that you want to put the thing away from you so, like, as you're scrolling to look for something, it just moves farther and farther away from you or closer. It's It just doesn't work on keyboard and mouse. I, I've noticed that about Fallout games in general. It's like, you can tell they're meant for console. Like them being, Well, that's only on Fallout 4 and 76. Fallout, and Fallout 3. Fallout, Fallout 3 kind of... No, Fallout 3 was definitely made with with PC in mind. I don't know. The controls... No, are still, no. Not the controls, but, like, the way the game feels with the keyboard and mouse just doesn't... Oh yeah, but you can always slow down your mouse acceleration, and it's fine. See, I was never I, a fan of Fallout Three because you couldn't like sprint. That's it. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Well, dude. I also didn't like the color scheme, but then again, it is an old game. I liked. It. I really liked Fallout Three. The way it felt like an like like you were there, yeah. like it was muddy and gross and dark, as an apocalyptic wasteland should be. There was a lot of invisible the walls, that too. I feel like Fallout really banks hard on the fact that it's a apocalyptic wasteland, but it's been 200 years. Hmm. Shouldn't there have been some kind... It, it, it looks like more like there's been 50 years. It has the same aesthetic as Fallout 1, which came out like... It has the same kind... Fallout has the same kind of aesthetic now as it did um, 20 years ago in the sense that everything looks still still looks like bomb to hell and people are living in shanty towns. The only Fallout game not to do this was Fallout New Vegas and that's because Fallout New Vegas is the only uh, is, is the only Fallout game that lives up to the previous ones in terms of writing uh, story characters really everything. Yeah. I've never played a Fallout game. What? That's a shame. You've never played Fallout? Never played Fallout. We got Maybe once or twice. Fallout. Maybe once or twice at like my cousin's house. But I've never I mean I've liked the the idea of Fallout like living in an apocalyptic apocalyptic like wasteland. 
open world. I love open world games to be, to begin with. I do too. It's just I never had the money, nor really had the time to. I guess. See, I but really... I mean, I'm... sorry, my bad. No, nah, it's good. I mean, I'm just saying now I do. I played a little bit of Breath of the Wild, and I oh, gotta say, no. I I was re- I really enjoyed it. Like I really enjoyed oh, like the Breath feel of the, the game. An incredible game. I gotta Breath agree. The Wild is like starting from nothing and then working your way up with like a literal stick, going to like you know getting your first sword, your shield. It's it's just I don't know. I I like that kind of stuff. Like starting from ground zero, working your way up, open world style. The, the progression rate isn't like one of those app games where it's like oh yeah, you quickly become god and then you like don't and then you just suck. Like, you can't get past this one level. Yeah. But the progression rate sticks with it. So it's like, oh, yeah, you'll easily be able to beat this guy, but there's still so much more that you can do. Uh-huh. Uh, or the way they do it is that guy can still kill you, but you just find easier ways to kill him. Exactly. That The Divine Beasts, gotta say, they did a really good job on those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Breath of the Wild is easily um, one of my favorite Zelda games. Not my, not my overall favorite, because um, I feel like Majora's Mask is uh, you y'all what y'all don't play Zelda. I don't think. No, I don't. no, not yeah, a lot. No, um, but Majora's Mask is definitely a standout and probably my favorite because it just does everything right. Hmm. Like there is not Majora's Mask does not have any bad moments, quote unquote. Right. Hmm. Majora's Mask is the one where the moon attacks, right? Uh, or is yeah, that... the moon, uh, someone summons the moon to crash and destroy the world. Yes. Got it. Um, okay. Uh, Do y'all, uh, y- were you guys uh, brought up on Castle Crashers? Um, no. Is that I remember game? watching YouTube videos and thinking, oh, wow, this is really cool. And then um, never, 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 never thinking about it again. Hmm. I'm not that was my... Here. That was my nostalgia. You know that game? It's a flat. It was based on like a, a early two thousands flash game. You remember like Super Meat Boy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was yeah. made by um, not those guys, but it was made by some friends of theirs. If yeah. You have, did you ever play Alien Hominid on Newgrounds? Yep. yep. I, I remember that, and then it came into an actual game, and I was like, Yeah, it turned into a oh. game. I saw my son rise into a man, and I just looked in front of the front. Newgrounds. God. Was... Newgrounds was definitely where indie game it, where like indie gaming saw its start. Oh, a hundred percent indie gaming. Yeah, it started it with Newgrounds, and it was um, popularized with Cave Story because, um, for those who don't know, Cave Story was a two D um, shooter in the same vein as Mega Man. It was published mm-hmm. um, by one man, and it was available for free. Hmm. Um, yeah, Cave Story. It was developed by a single Japanese man. Was that? Was it like a? Sorry, go on. And he self-published it, posted it on his website, and it got insanely popular. Mm. To put this into perspective, Cave Story has been ported to every single console since Damn. the Wii. It saw a Wii release, a Xbox 360 release, a PS3 release, next generation of consoles. The, the newfound publisher for the games, I forget their name, um, they ported it to to PS4, to Wii U, Xbox One. It got a Switch release re- like a couple like a year or two ago. Cave Story is still w- w- very popular, and mm-hmm. it's held up very well because of its pixel art and because uh, of its incredible its pixel art, you know, art style, and its incredible soundtrack. And from there, mm-hmm. you know, late 2010, late. 2000s, early 2010s, new grounds exploded. Oh, like blew up? <laughs> oh, yeah. 2005 <laughs> to 2010, new grounds got very popular. Very oh, they quick. meant like their, their base oh, of operations okay. like literally no, exploded. New grounds is base of operations? Mm-hmm. New grounds is a website, monkey boy. Anyway. Well, yeah. I mean, you all were talking about nostalgic, and I was just like, damn, I really did just grow up on Castle Crashers. Nah. Castle Crashers and chess. I grew up on. I did play a lot Minecraft. of Castle Crashers. Dude, when I was younger, I had a Kindle, a Kindle Fire, oh, and I played. You could play Clash of Clans on that. 
I didn't. I hated oh. Clash of Clans with a passion. I also hated Clash. I also still hate Clash Royale. Always against the mainstream media. I like to see. I don't like mobile wait, games. Wait, wait, wait. Mobile games. I can't stand them. You hate cock? Yeah. Now wait a minute, sir. I'm gonna have to remove you from this channel real quick. Shut up. Um, nah. Um, I play on that Kindle Fire. I played Sonic, Sonic Four Episode One, Sonic Four Episode Two, Sonic CD, Sonic, Sonic One, Sonic Two. Damn. Um, because those were all the Sonic games that got mobile ports, and I played them all, and I beat them all, and I want to die. That being said. Um, that was what actually got me into the Sonic series, was just having those on my shitty Kindle Fire. But what really got me uh, interested, growing up I did not have any consoles other than my Wii. I had an N64, and mm. I had a Wii. My brother, two, a year or two after I started getting into games, my brother gave me his Super Nintendo, and I played Castlevania on that, and it was fucking great. But mm. I had a Kindle Fire, and that was how I played Minecraft. Hell yeah. Uh, That's awesome. Yeah. It didn't even... I, I didn't play Minecraft past the... Um, it didn't... It, I couldn't update Minecraft on the Kindle Fire. <laughs> Dude, so when they added... When they added shit like clouds, like that update... Oh, no. On my Kindle Fire, I could play the update where they had... Where they didn't have beds. They had chests. <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> so, a very, very old version of Pro of Minecraft Pocket Edition. One of the oldest, if memory serves right. Was yeah. that? Sorry, you go. Well, I was just going to say, I remember sticking with, like, the Pocket Edition as it was being updated from, like, Ground Zero. Like, up I couldn't. The Kindle the Kindle Fire version was I never just, updated. Past I, the I had uh, an iPod Touch 4, so it was, like... For the time, Fancy. it was pretty advanced. You know, it could... Then I got an iPhone 6, and I was actually able to play Minecraft. Exactly. But See, I, this was still before Pocket Edition became as good as... Um, it was still fun, uh, though. PC. It was still fun. Yeah, it was still good. I remember playing um, it back when, like... I remember and when there was... They didn't have armor, either. I remember when there was, like, end portals, but no ender pearls. So, like... You had the frames, but no ender. I mean, ender eyes. Sorry, no ender eyes. Oh, I know what you're talking <laughs> about. Yeah, I know that too. I know that too. Minecraft Pocket Edition at that point was little more than Minecraft's alpha. Yeah, it was just Minecraft, but like without the end and in No, I know it was like classic Minecraft, like before the adventure update out of the Ender Dragon. Yeah, and do you guys remember that, uh, that type of beat. Minecraft? Uh, I think it was demo, not demo. Um, like, Yo, I know what you're talking about. The one-hour demo you could download that yeah. played classic versions. And it was super scuffed because, like... It's... It was super scuffed because it was just the very first edition of Minecraft. Flat out. Oh, huh. I remember I would play that. It's like Minecraft Lite or something like that. Yeah, no, Minecraft Pocket Edition Lite, that's different. That's different from what Is I'm it? talking about. Yeah. Pocket Edition Lite, you couldn't... You were in creative mode. You couldn't access anything beyond like wood and dirt and, and stone walls and bricks. I remember that. You had bricks too. Yeah, dude, it was scuff. It was scuff. As hell. It was scuff as hell, my guy. But Damn. more than that, what I remember playing is me and one of my other friends. We both got Terraria. Oh lord. I had mm -hmm. it on my phone because when I was in middle school, I got an iPhone six. Imagine that, dude. Imagine that. I had a slide for sixth and seventh grade, dude. Sixth and seventh grade. My friend Rich and I, kids. My friend and I had an iPad. Set. I, my friend had an iPad, a big like new iPad, and I had an iPhone six. All your boys were. All your homies are rich, dude. Damn. Yeah. Well, I mean, his dad was a nuclear physicist. That. Yeah, dude. Make bomb. <laughs> you make a bomb. <laughs> no. Um, Fucking Robert I'm Oppenheimer I'm over here. <laughs> We grinded out classic versions of Terraria where they still had like Akram. Because Terraria has a final boss called the Moon Lord. And before they added mm -hmm. the Moon Lord um, to newer versions, they had a placeholder boss called Akram that got cut in later versions. But yeah. in the mobile editions, for a time, he was, you could fight him. In fact, if you play the 3DS version of Terraria, you can still fight Akram. See, I never played Terraria, so I never really got that experience. Oh, 
oh, I'm sorry for you, my friend. Hey, look, I grew up on Minecraft <laughs> and Borderlands 2. Dude, I, hey, Borderlands 2. I, mean, I played Borderlands. so hold up well. much Borderlands. It does. It does hold up. I didn't. I don't think so. I don't think the writing holds up well. I think the gameplay is, it was, it was never okay to begin with, and I think it was a game that only really got popular because it was one of the first loot shooters to really um, make it big. And because ha, ha, funny, funny random memes. Haha, ha, random edgy humor. Look, he farted. He but has a spoon in his eye. Ha ha ha. It, it's funny because he curses a lot and he says butt stallion a whole lot. Haha, ha, get it? Yeah. Ha, ha. Look, I, ha, ha, fun. I really, I, the playability, like the replayability of that game was always there for me. Like I could always go back through and play it again and again and again. I just enjoyed I played it, it so the, much. for the first time recently. I, I can't. I can't it's go back. It's my kind of game. That. I gotta say, I, I could not I, mind. I'm kind of burnt out of it now, but like after I used... playing 30 hours on my first playthrough, I couldn't, dude. I, I used to be able the to play only so game much. that really has infinite replayability for me. The only games that have infl infinite replayability for me are the ones where you kind of build your own character, Into like you dungeon. determine like the stats, like the stats. Mm -hmm. I don't like roguelikes. Enter the Enter the Gungeon is an exception to a rule. I can't stand roguelikes. I hate the idea of dying and losing all my progress. Ha being forced to restart is one of the most demotivating things for me. Honestly, I feel that. I can't play a game that, like... Like, you know, you get, you get 20 hours into a game, you're super invested, and, uh, whoops, your save file corrupted, you lost all that progress. Yeah, it's uh, like, that, why would you... What? That, was, that was the sole reason that I, um... That I put down a, an indie game I was playing recently called Blasphemous. Hmm. I lost my save data. Ooh. Blasphemous um, is like the best way I can describe it is it's a lot like Dark Souls, like a lot like Dark Souls, but it's 2D, and it also incorporates um, Metroidvania elements. Hmm. Yeah. Like at that point, great. what what brings you back to the game? Once that happens, like what really can bring Nothing. me back? I, I put it down and I never touch it again for five well, years. Like, oh yeah, I never beat this game. Let's do it. I feel that like there are some exceptions. With um, I'm trying to think, I remember there was a game that where that did happen. I lost my save progress and I, I it demotivated the hell out of. It was a DS game. It was a DS game, and the cartridge stopped working, Ooh. and I wanted to die. What's the uh, what's the exception, Gabe? Well, I feel like like hardcore Minecraft. Okay. That's like that's different. no hardcore that's... Minecraft. That's different though, because I I never do hardcore alone. Never. I do. It's too boring. I, I, do I can't stand doing my hardcore Minecraft by myself because I just get bored. The same goes for Minecraft in general. Really, I have to be playing it with a friend. I feel like I, I remember I... what happened. Yo, I remember. Okay, so I had like this massive single player world of Minecraft when I was younger. When mm -hmm. I was younger, I had this huge single-player world. This was like 1.7, 1 1.8. This was very, this was decently far in. Um, right before the, I, I remember it was before they uh, overhauled combat and made the game uh, awful. <laughs> um, I had this massive world. I had like a fully stacked enchant table. I had like this sweet basin carved into a mountainside. Damn. Like a bat cave, but it had like oh. glass windows that's where you could see out of the mountain. If you were like outside of the mountain, you could see and it. It was sweet. It was sweet. Had a ton of layers, kind of like an onion. Screenshots um, or it didn't happen. And that's just it. The world corrupted. When my dad's <laughs> shitty computer had a vi got a virus. <laughs> I'm going to head out. <laughs> I lost the... Not only did I lose my world, but I lost my will to play Minecraft. So I stopped playing. And then, like, a year ago, Minecraft suddenly saw itself becoming popular again. And uh, Frank Dell and I one night decided, oh, hey, Minecraft's a thing again. Let's play it. Hmm. And we uh, played our first game of Bed Wars. And now it's, like, crack to me. I'm an addict. I don't think I ever got... Out of the Minecraft fad, I think no. it was always I've been I, I got no, out of personally, it. personally I've just I was just always like yeah if I'm bored I'll just play some fucking Minecraft yeah. or Castle Crashers. There was a time where I didn't have a computer that could play it, and I wasn't gonna play it on console. I mean, mm. you could have yeah honestly, honestly it's I could have on console. My 360, but my dad uh, 
it's in the living room, and my dad likes to watch TV, and so that's not an option. Son, bring me a beer. <laughs> no, that's not a thing. My dad's a cop. He doesn't drink. Um, bring me two. <laughs> shut up, Dave. <laughs> no, but I, I feel that, Gabe. I never really hopped out of it. I took a couple breaks here and then, but I never really like lost interest in the game itself. Like mm-hmm. I always came back to it one way or another, whether it was like playing some no, mods. I actually or, genuinely got burnt out and lost interest. Like in middle and now school, I'm playing again. in middle school, I yeah. played so much Sky Factory. Like you have no idea. That's all I did. Like nah, I didn't because back then the problem was that I never got to play Minecraft on a PC. Well, I had a I had a shitty laptop too, and I I made I it work. I could play it on my laptop. Like I tried to run it on my laptop, but it did not work. I don't know for because my laptop didn't even have, have like a good a good enough CPU to run it. I just I remember playing yeah, so that. much Sky Factory too. Like I would sit down for eight hours straight just playing Sky Factory. That's how invested I was in it. Like that was a daily <laughs> thing. I remember playing Sky Wars a ton. Oh, oh, I played Sky Wars on a small server called Woody Craft. Woody oh. Craft, Woody Craft. I don't remember. I, I um, think I, that sounds familiar. Yeah, Woody Craft. And I played Sky Wars on it, and I also played Hunger Games on it. Oh, mm. Hunger Games! I remember. Oh, the oh shit, classic, dude. Dude. Classic, classic, classic days. Bajan Canadian. Bajan Canadian. I used to bang out those videos on the daily, my dude. Uh, I, hold on, hold on. I used to bang to Bajan Canadian on the daily. I think I stopped watching him. No, bang out the videos, you horny boy. Um, I think I stopped watching him right around episode six hundred. Because I was shit. like, hey, dude, dude, if you look at his channel now, time to go down this rabbit hole with me, boys. Um, Beijing what? Canadian. What's going on on Beijing Canadian's channel? If you look at his server now, he's, his viewership is terrible. He, he... Even, with the, even with the revival um, of Minecraft being popular, he wow. never saw a, a resurgence in views. What it, like what it, the way other Minecraft YouTubers did? Like Sky does Minecraft became somewhat popular again. What is yeah. uh? What is? Just look at take a look at like, any one of his newer videos. He has, he has look look like Five point eighty three million subscribers, right? Yep. But his viewership, pounds. he averages twenty thousand views per video, and that's not even. He'll oh get ten k. Oh my god. Wow. He made a okay, okay. This was eleven months ago, but like he made a video called Technoblade equals Minecraft God. Like everyone knows, Technoblade is already God tier at P- Minecraft PvP. He's, yeah, he tried to he tried to um, bait the hell out of views using Technoblade because Technoblade's like the most relevant Minecraft YouTube right now. YouTuber right now. Well, well, yeah, I guess relevant. Yeah, I also like, think because. There he's to, he he or he was for a long time because he oh. got very popular off of Minecraft Mondays. I also and think he's been um, on a roll since then. I think everybody who was a part of SP Live also got a boost, like a crazy boost yeah. to their viewership and oh. their channel. Oh yeah, Technoblade was a part of that. Mm-hmm. SP Live? Yeah, he was yeah. in that. Really? Yeah, him he him, him voiceover Pete and um Philza decided oh, to come to girl. No, that was SP Earth, I thought. Or SM, uh, that's what I'm thinking of as SMP Earth. My bad. Yeah, my bad. yeah, yeah. That had Wilbur and all of them in it. Yeah, yeah. SMP Earth was sweet. I want to. I want to say. Um, what was it? Yeah, no. Canadian is dead. Let's yeah, Beijing Canadian has oh, died. Oh. Let me, let <laughs> you know what up, I mean. Let me look Let's up. Um, Hunger Games. Roman How many that. videos did he make for Hunger Games? Ha. Yeah, he went up to 709. So he made another 109 videos. So are they actually like well edited videos? Or are they just kind of like pumping out pumping out low effort, you know, 30 minute long straight up no edits or anything? Um Okay, so Jerome ASF is actually holding up pretty decently. Yeah, he really? uploaded Yeah, I stopped watching him around 2015. Jerome is still somewhat relevant. Yeah, he's got you know an average of like 130k views, more. Shit, 180 a million. God, damn. Jerome is actually still very relevant now. I watched him. I legit no cap watched him. Like, still watched him 
four or five months ago. No, I didn't. I, I stopped watching Minecraft YouTubers a while ago. I only watch. I really only watch Technoblade now. Um, real quick, boys. I think because I think the reason Jerome became relevant, um, or stayed relevant, was because he he fell back on his old classic of doing balloons tower defense. Oh, hundred percent. I and, feel like that, and he had actually good solid bits that that he kept, like the Baka blade and like um Betty, like he kept that through, and he kept on making. Kept on rebounding on that and actually made funny content. Real quick, boys, I'm gonna kind of steer us back onto some of the topics that we had set up. Um, so one of these questions that I thought was pretty interesting is: Would you rather be a psychopath or a sociopath? Hmm. Probably so, a psychopath. I don't know what the difference between them is. Well, sociopath means you feel too many emotions, and psychopath you mean means you feel none, right? I thought it was opposite. Like psychopath is, you kind of like it's it's like sensory overload, and you're just kind of like going crazy because of it. And then sociopath is you feel nothing, like no remorse, no empathy, no sympathy. Like okay, you, hold on. You can't feel for other people, so, so you kind of don't relate AFD to them. Or you know, sociopathy disorder is part of a category of personality disorders characterized by persistent negative behaviors. The new edition of the Diagnostic and Statistical Mental, the DSM-5, which we talked about in psychology class, Austin. Mm -hmm says that someone with ASPD consistently shows a lack of regard for others' feelings or violations of people's rights. Yeah, yeah. People with ASPD may not realize that they have these behaviors. They may live their entire lives without a diagnosis. Um, seven traits. Doesn't respect social, social norms or laws. Lies, deceives others, uses false identities or nicknames, and uses others for personal gain. Does not make long-term plans, and they also, be, uh, and they also often be th behave without thinking of consequences. Aggressive or aggravated behavior. They consistently get into fights or physically harm others. Do not consider their own safety or the safety of others. Do not follow up on personal or professional responsibilities. This can include repeatedly being late to work and not paying bills on time. And do not feel guilt or remorse for having harmed or mistreated others. Other possible symptoms can include being cold by not showing emotions or investment in the lives of others, using humor, intelligence, or charisma to manipulate people, having a, having a sense of superiority and strong, unwavering opinions, not learning from mistakes, not being able to keep positive friendships and relationships, attempting to control others by intimidating or th them or threatening them, getting into frequent legal, legal trouble or performing criminal acts, taking risks at the expense of others or themselves, threatening suicides with, uh, without ever acting on these traits, becoming addicted to drugs, alcohol, or other, or other substances. There is, no there is no clinical difference between a sociopath and a psychopath. Hmm. Hmm. These terms are both used to refer to someone with asocial sociopathy disorder. They are often used interchangeably. Some may have attempted to distinguish the two by the severity of their symptoms. A sociopath may be someone who only makes minor transgressions that don't cause serious or harm or distress, but a psychopath may be described as someone who's physically violent or put others in danger. However, when one considers the DSM-5 diagnostic criteria, all of these symptoms can be found in the ASPD, ASPD category. Exhibiting frequently selfish behavior is in and of itself not sufficient to diagnose someone as a sociopath. An ASPD diagnosis is only given when, when symptoms occur for an extended period and do not change because of punishment or lifestyle changes. Someone who's selfish may show these behaviors for a short while, but feel bad about them, or change their behavior over time because of punishment. Okay. Very interesting. I actually did not know that they were similar clin clinically, at least. Clinically, yeah. they are interchangeable. They are the same. All right, so I guess the, the question changes to uh, all emotions or no emotions. I think I have to go with all emotions. I'd rather feel things than just not feel at all, you know, even if it is uh, a I lot. I, no emotions, nah, 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 that couldn't be me. I don't want to constantly be angry or con or like show people aggressive behavior. I, I feel like I'm already, I feel like I'm already kind of like all emotions. I feel like, like even if you I'm have happy. no emotions, something's got to fill that void, right? So, calm. Ah, uh, <laughs> yeah, come on then. In the, end, in the end, anger is the only emotion that's going to like shine out, even if you don't show emotion. Anger or some kind of like toxic jealousy, whatever it oh. may be. Well, if you think yeah, about it, what yeah. you, or if you, without emotion, you're just kind of there. You're just kind of vibing. But you can still get angry at someone without like feeling. It, it allows for object. I feel like if you were with emotion, you would be really good in like courts, because the one thing that's clouding the court system is like bias towards someone based on predetermined, um, pre predetermined conceptions. 
Yeah. I don't know. I think I think that would be interesting. It being like a judge without human emotion. Like a robot. To objectively that'd, that'd be true, yeah. measure the situation only using facts. Facts and logic. You, Literally you can, impos- yeah. impartial as po- as humanly impossible as that is. You would actually be an impartial judge. Yeah, that's true. And I feel like if you had all the emotions, or like too many emotions, like even one bout of depression could just snuff out your flame. You're, I mean, it, it really could take a turn for the worse, but also, if you have no emotions, you could have no life. You just feel No. Shy. I think yeah. with no emotions, you might be able to determine what's, like, best for yourself. Yeah, but, I mean, do you really think that's living, per se? Yeah, you, you wouldn't really be, like, enjoying life to the fullest, like someone... Living an objectively optimal life. Yeah, but that's not fun. <laughs> that's, not, that's not a fun yeah, you, you, That's not I mean, living. technically you wouldn't be living it. You would be just someone. And you would legitimately just be someone. You wouldn't be yeah. Gabriel. You wouldn't okay. be Joe, Jacob. You wouldn't be Austin. You wouldn't be anyone. You would just be, this guy is doing decently well for himself. This guy's getting by doing, you know, the average. You would be a robot. Constantly. You would literally be a robot. Physical pleasure would be the only thing left for you. <laughs> Masturbation every <laughs> day. Dude. Every oh, night. Yeah. Turn that dick into a goddamn uh, bendy straw. <laughs> <laughs> the ninety degree curve. <laughs> oh, I got ninety. I'm talking about the two seventy. I went by uh, Taco Bell today, right? And I gotta say, the the beefy Frito it kind of slaps for a dollar. I I literally brought you there. Talking about this. slapped that bitch in your mouth, and you went, "Damn, this shit good. This shit is good." But the, I remember you, me, you, Frank, and I. Oh, we went after school. I do remember that. Yeah, we yeah. went after school one day, dude. I was hyped for out. that. We hung out there for a little bit. The five, the five layer burrito is good and all, but I think it has too much beans. Like, <laughs> too, Ugh, there's a point it. where it gets to too many beans. Like half of the burrito is beans. <laughs> too many beans. Half there's of this thing. And like all, the, all, the, many beans. all the sour cream is like intertwined with the beans like only the, <laughs> it's all on like one <laughs> side of the, the burrito burritos, so, you if bite, I can help. so you bite in like all the sour cream's like on one side and it all just like you oh, take oh, all yeah, that one bite yeah there's a reason I only get the quesaritos really yeah they always fuck up with the sour cream somehow they always fuck it up that happens with quesaritos too like you'll have all cheese on one side it's, and all how do they even do that don't they spread side. it out evenly while they're making it no, I don't know. I've had quesaritos where it's all rice on one side <laughs> and all steak on the other. Or all food. <laughs> they're not it's good at so mixing dumb. it. They're not, they're not good at making it. food there. Uh, but I still eat it up. It's still good for the price. It's still tasty. It's still, still, still good tasty. for the price. I, I remember this is my most outrageous thing that I've gone to Taco Bell and gotten. I asked for a quesadilla, quesadilla for my little um quesadilla for my little um my little cousin, Wyatt, and what they served me was a um, a hamburger <laughs> but with cheese on top, on top, not in between. Two, all right, so the, these are the buns, that's the cheese. <laughs> and I just, I just looked at them and I said, can I get a quesadilla? And they were like, oh, okay, yes, sir. And then I got my. So wait, you're saying yeah. you got like it was like the tortilla was folded over and all that, right? Wasn't even tortilla. It was legitimately <laughs> hamburger bun. I was just like, the, why do you guys even have hamburger bun? <laughs> Are you serious? No, no cap. This happened <laughs> three years ago. Somebody, somebody took the time to roll out some buns, heat them up for a burger, and, <laughs> and they made the cheese on top. I the feel like the cheese would be easier to put in between. Just, <laughs> they went so out of their way for everything in that in that like scenario. Pizza with left beef, bro. That type of situation. Yeah, you know, I was just Have I was baffled. <laughs> what is it? All right, so Domino's allows you to go really like custom with your pizza. So what one guy did right was he um he ordered a a pizza with nothing on it. Oh, just bread. Just the crust. Oh. And then he ordered um, beef, but specifically ordered that it be put on the left hand side of the pizza. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. 
<laughs> I've seen it's that. Image. Image, an un pizza with left beef. That's funny. Become a cult <laughs> classic. You can look it up if you want, Austin. No, it's okay. I'll, uh, Get a good visualizer. On, speaking on food, what are y'all's favorite food? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, that's tough because we eat a lot of food. Mm, that's true. So here's the thing. Speaking of food, while I was in Florida, the one consistent highlight was my brother-in-law's cooking. Ooh. He's a Filipino guy, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. It, it's good. It's, it's just good. It's good. It, it's just. It's just good. He made this Filipino dish called um lampa, lampa, lampka. I don't know. It was like an egg roll with pork in the middle. It was like a fry. Like he would take these little specific um uh wraps, these little flour wraps. I think. Like kind of like tortillas. Yeah. Very small, very like pastry, like puff pastry. If you've ever seen puff pastry in your life, mm -hmm. I have not. And you would wrap, um, pulled. You would wrap, um, you would wrap it up like chopped carrots and pulled pork. Mm -hmm. You can put veggies in them, but he doesn't like that, and neither do I. Um, and then you take that wrapped like uh, the wrap. It, it's, it looks kind of like a taquito. For reference. Hmm. And he deep fried it. Ooh. Ooh. And it's so good. It's so damn good. And he, he served it with this like spicy um this spicy uh uh teriyaki sauce. Mm. You Check guys it. you guys have had crab meat before, right? Oh, oh 100%. I, I could go say, down. I gotta say crab meat's probably my one of my favorite foods, if not. Oh, I love favorite. crab. I love crab. Crab is I, I, so I, I, good. It always is just so good. It just delivers. Do you crab mind like if I go downstairs and get some crab meat right now? You have some crab meat? I have, I have crab legs. You can eat it live? I don't, I don't have crab legs, but I have crab uh, meat. The, that's the most satisfying part, I feel, is cracking open the legs. Oh, yeah, yeah. Getting that, like, getting that big fat. Meat um, tendon. A little bit of juice comes out, too. The, the oh. meat. The getting the schmeat that's in that oh, crab log. Yeah. Like, the crab claw or the crab legs. I it's felt that one. Theodore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Quality shit. When that dude. tube of shmeat oh. just slides on out, just mm -hmm. so good, so good every time. Oh yeah, Honestly, for sure, Honestly, for yeah. sure. You dip it in that melted butter off to the Ooh. side. Oh, I see. Look, I don't eat mine with butter. I eat it with Old Bay. I mean, yeah. You mix up the butter in the Old Bay, then you put it in the microwave. Put it in I the put microwave. No, no, like this. You take like half a stick of butter, put it in a bowl. Old Bay. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. I thought you. And you uh, but they got about hot, hot crab. Yeah, put say. the crab meat oh, in the microwave. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> nah, fuck out of here with that. That's weird. You're weird. <laughs> Gotta heat up my crab legs. Uh, well, I guess. I like, I and then he, dude, he made burgers, and they were so good. I just can't stop thinking about the tortilla burger that Gabe got. <laughs> hey, yo, can I get a quesadilla? And they just give you a fucking burger with the cheese on top. <laughs> <laughs> like, did they yeah. actually have like a patty? Yes, it was a patty. <laughs> How did they fuck up that bad? I think it was a brioche bun. I gotta look up what a brioche bun looks like. I know what I a brioche bun is. I know what a brioche bun is. I use them to make grilled cheeses. It was a brioche bun. Yeah, I, I was looking. Why would up. you waste a good burger bun? That's like those are like the best. Yeah. I don't know. I think the, Austin, it must Austin, have been Austin, 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 so You gotta come over, and I gotta make you a grilled cheese sandwich. Me, I thought you were about to say you're gonna make me a hammy sammy. But. Nah, dude, you gotta try these grilled cheesers. They're so good. I'll try your so cheeser. I'll try your cheeser. Don't worry, I'll try your all right, cheeser. Aye, aye, good. Provolone, a brioche hamburger bun. Mm. I smash that shit flat. A little bit of butter. A little bit of butter little involved. Bit of hair. Yeah, Man. fuck mayo. I tried mayo on a grilled cheese. It's disgusting. All my oh my fucking God. hate mayo, dude. It's edible, but it's by no means good. Mayo's oh, only good on chicken sandwiches. It's only good you on chicken sandwiches. No, mayo, mayo, mayo. You don't fuck with mayo on a grilled cheese. No, sir. Yo, speaking of, okay, so Brian, my brother-in-law, made these burgers. He would do the bun, patty, bacon, a whole fried egg, mm -hmm. and then to line the, the inside of the top bun, he'd, you, he'd, he'd smear this chipotle mayo. Mm, I'm gonna talk about we sell that. I do not like mayo, but that shit was so good, dude. Oh my god, that was the best burger I've ever had. Oh yeah, Hands Hands down, down. one of, if not the best. There is no contest. It outclasses N N Burger. 
it's that good. Okay. Mm. Another thing, the first night we were there, Brian made ribs that were so tender, so good. He slid the bones out of them after cooking. And it I think that Whoa. speaks for itself, my dude. I, really I feel I feel like ribs are ribs are really, really, ribs really are hot. So but. good, dude. You, when they're so tender that you can like take the whole thing and just slide every bone out and without without any muss or fuss. Uh, that you're on to something there. You've gotten my attention something. and my erection. Oh yeah. <laughs> got my meat and my schmeat. Damn. That's and that's... then he made pulled pork the last night we were there, and I don't have to explain why you know, perfectly perfectly done pulled pork is good. It's perfectly oh, done pulled pork. Hundred percent. Pulled his, anything his is method kind of pretty that, good. The biggest part of smoking for him was that that he just, that he's discovered was that it's all about temperature control. Mm-hmm. Right. But he got a thermometer and a fan like hooked up to the hooked up to this unit to where it regulates the temperature for him. Hmm. That's cool. Yeah. That's actually like that's Big some fucking uh, Tony he Stark cheats. some shit there. He's the Tony he Stark of pulled pork. Holy shit. He <laughs> cheats to make perfect barbecue. It's incredible. He's Tony um, Stark. Your mom. Got him. No, um Favorite superpower. If I had to say, like, a favorite food, God, you know how hard that is? Yeah, yeah, you can. I don't think you can have a favorite food, honestly. I love sushi. Oh. I, I, I like sushi. Asian food in general. Asian I like seafood. food just fucking I do slap. like seafood a lot. Asian food, by far, hands down, my favorite type of food. But if I had to go for an all-time favorite, if we're going based on the amount consumed, my guy, I've eaten Wrong. far more pizza. Oh. Than any man has any right to. I don't think. Now that's true. that I, I know how more. to make it at home, I think I've had more pizza than you. Definitely. Here's the thing, I can make it at home now. So could I. Not really, but I could. I do it homemade, Damn. from scratch. I do my own dough. I use fresh cut, low moisture mozzarella, the good shit. Mm, mozzarella hits me so. My good. own sauce from fresh tomatoes at the farmers oh, market. Oh yeah! It all comes together, it's baby. It's all coming I've together. Gotta now. explain how New York style pizza is good. It's just it's pizza. New York style pizza. It's good. I want to say my, that's my all time favorite favorite pizza, favorite type of pizza. It was like. With the thin, you know, droopy crust, mm. that classic cheese. I don't think there's a type of pizza that can outclass a New York style pizza. Because I hate deep dish. I've tried deep dish. I think um, John Stewart. I think probably eggs are bad. My favorite. Are fine. I like eggs. John Stewart. John Stewart's John Stewart's rant on pizza oh, God. has defined this my opinion. A, this is a terrible copy pasta. I think I think we should steer away from this. You said creepy pasta now. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Copy pasta. Terrible copy pasta. Absolutely nah. dreadful. Mm. I I if a pancake is done right, I fucking love pancakes. But if it's like oh. soggy and cold, it just doesn't work. Pancakes don't work when they're IHOP, fresh. IHOP can put out some good pancakes. I'm not even gonna lie here. IHOP, IHOP is not that good in my opinion. I haven't been there in a while, but last I don't, time I was there, I don't particularly like pancakes. Don't they have honestly? All, don't they have all you can eat pancakes now? Like stack? No, I don't know. I don't know. If I have to, if I have to eat pancakes, I'm gonna be going to. Um, Bob Evans. Yo, how does Waffle? Does Waffle House mm. do pancakes? Not Bob Evans. Not Bob Evans. Yeah. Waffle House they does do? waffles, and their waffles are good. They do. Um, I got a pancake from dude, Waffle, Waffle House. Waffle House actually kind of fucking slaps, and they got some good oh, steak too. They're open twenty four seven, I think. I'm back. I think I'm going to Waffle House for my next meal. Yeah, Bob Evans, dude. Bob Evans restaurant. Bob, Bob Evans. Evans. Where is that? Actually, don't tell me where that, that is. There's I'm... one in Richmond, and there's one in Fredericksburg, and I've get, I've been to the one yeah. in Fredericksburg. Uh, good pancakes. I don't really like pancakes, but they uh, they're good. Do they put, really like, in the Frederick, butter- though, the, the, my favorite breakfast joint is Tito's Diner. Do they put like the butter on the top and everything? Fuck if I know. It's been a year. My favorite back. My favorite. I don't particularly like pancakes. My favorite breakfast joint is Waffle House. 
my favorite breakfast joint is this place I where I used to live. They called it the Lotsburg Cafe, right? We used to go there yeah. at least twice a week in the morning. Dude, they put out some very fucking good breakfast. Like a stack of three or four pancakes. You had the uh, cut up potatoes on the side, like not like hash browns, but like you know dice stuff. And you put you yeah, put I know this, what you're talking about. Then they fry them. Yeah, you wait, this, wait, wait, what is that called? Fried potatoes. No, no, no. What is the place called? Oh, it's called um, Lotsburg Cafe. You probably wouldn't know where it is, but um, honestly, hold on. I that sounds very lot. And then they, you got like bacon, a little bit of egg. See, I was younger when I used to go, and I really wasn't a big fan of potatoes when I was younger. I really only liked the pancakes. I mean, I'd eat the potatoes if they were like slathered in syrup. But dude, that place really put out some good breakfast. I gotta say, like breakfast done right is fucking amazing. Like home, like cafe style breakfast. A little bit of coffee. Yeah, I do. Oh shit, dude! It's... I don't like coffee. I can't. In fact, I can't stand coffee. I I can only drink coffee if it's like heavily, heavily like French vanilla. Like, oh, that's all you At taste. That point, I feel like that's not coffee. I feel exactly. like that's, that's sugar no. cancer. Yeah, that's. I don't feel like that's coffee. That's that's more of like a, a like a treat, like a milkshake a that will kill you. I agree, yeah. but at the same time, like you still get like the feeling of drinking coffee. It just tastes good doesn't taste like you're drinking yeah. fucking cancer all right boys all right boys how do y'all feel about golden corral oh i've never disgusting. been there actually so i don't disgusting. i, I cannot discuss golden corral is absolutely disgusting you know where i have been though i've been oh. to shoney's. shoney's there's a reason shoney's is closing down shut the fuck up shoney's is amazing shoney's is awful dude shoney's is awesome dude they put no. out some good food talk actually good breakfast we can talk about krispy kreme Okay, the donuts there are good. I'm pretty good. So I, there is nothing that can top Krispy Kreme, especially when they're I'm right bad. off, right off the rack, and they're hot. Oh, Dunkin' Donuts can try, but they can't match them. They can't match no. the cream. No, I feel like Krispy Kreme is like, like Dunkin' Donuts does cake donuts better. Yeah, like the chocolate donuts that are made mm. from like cake batter and shit. Okay, those are good. I feel like Krispy Kreme. Specializes in hot donuts, like fresh. They they're also good cold though. Like you Krispy know those Kreme, fundraiser I haven't, boxes. I haven't cold, had the cold. Hot, but you can have a Dunkin' Donuts donut that's just as good cold as it was hot. I think you mm. can do that with Krispy Kreme too. Mm. At least the glazed. Uh, with the glazed. The glazed. There's something lost. There's no, the gooey. I feel like it's still the gooeyness of the glaze. I think it's always going to be like it's going to melt in your mouth no matter what. So I don't see what the issue is. I don't know. I do prefer Krispy Kreme, though. That is my optimal donut. Oh, yeah. The, the glazed donuts there are just addicting. Like, you just pop them in one after the other. God, Honestly. yes. The only... Do- I, I love sugar. I love 360 donuts because it, it went under a rebrand. It's no longer Sugar Shack. I passed by there today, and I was kind of tempted to get some donuts. They put out some good stuff, too. Not as good as Krispy Kreme, in stuff. my opinion. The oh. the, their cake donuts are so heavy. They have, they make some big fucking donuts. I'm talking they like make some big cake fucking, fucking, fucking donuts. Like them donuts. things are massive. Dobon packing some Dobon honka <laughs> The shits are like as round as my head, and they're like, here, take this, oh, take dude. twelve of these. Like what the fuck? One time I had a donut right. One time I had a big fucking donut the size of a pizza. Okay. And I brought yeah. in slices every day for lunch. And that that's a highlight of my middle school. <laughs> existence damn must have been the cool kid passing around donut slices i didn't pass around dude those were mine (laughs) i wasn't fucking giving those to anybody but me sharing's Um, caring but i don't give a shit (laughs) caring but i don't care sharing's caring but you can suck my chode (laughs) i think we're i think we're getting pretty close to wrapping it up though um, I don't all, right, all right, all right, all right. Thirty minutes. One, one more, one more question. One more question. What's your favorite soup? If you had a superpower, what would it be? See, that's a tough one. Ooh, uh, yeah. Ooh. I have this down to the detail. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Bold of you to assume I don't either. <laughs> I know this is very generic, but I'd like to run fast. I like, I like moving quick. So running, I don't want to fly. Flying is overrated. I want to run fast. Understandable. Now, Jacob, what is yours? Um, gamer rage, dude. Gamer rage. <laughs> Turn right, green. So, nah, nah. <laughs> Whenever I get tilted at a game, right, the mind clocks in overdrive. I start. I the more tilted I get, 
the better I play. So the angrier I am, you fucking, murder, you murder those children in cold so blood. So what I do, what I do, right, is I is like I'll, I'll enter like a big, um, say Smash tournament. Smash. I'll enter a big Smash tournament. I'll look through my Twitter feed to get super pissed off, and then I'll go play. Oh, and, then, and that's an easy twenty k right there, my dude. Does your Twitter feed piss you off? What do you see on there? Autistic shit, honest to God. <laughs> cursed images, a lot of cursed images. Cursed images piss you off? They, they make me irrationally angry. I'm like, I don't want to fucking see this shit. This image is so fucking cursed, dude. What's with um, the scooter being on the dude's head? Uh, I see a lot of awful takes about video games that just kind of like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. I get like, you. how on earth do you think Street Fighter V is a good game? <laughs> Coming after Street Fighter V, I, I see. Yeah, Street Fighter Five is shit. Damn. Yeah, what do you think about Street Fighter? I never really got into it. I was more of a. Are you a Mortal? No, Kombat I. Guy? Yeah. Oh, hundred. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was. <laughs> Dude, Mortal Kombat was my shit, though. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so in my in my history. Everyone's talking about what? Everyone's talking about femboy hooters, right? Oh god. But why not talk about White Castle's ninety-nine cent sloppy? Ugh, stop. <laughs> Delete that. <laughs> We've got the 99 cent sloppy at, I at uh, White Castle. Femboy Hooters. Goth IHOP. Oh. <laughs> Lolly Caesars. Oh, God. Uh... Monster Girl McDonald's. Ooh. Tomboy Outback. <laughs> We've got Bill <laughs> Denny's. <laughs> Denny's. <laughs> Buddha Subway. Yeah. Mm. And Robot Girl Popeyes. What you picking? Denny's. Milf Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picking mm, God. I hop. Yo, where's Shoney's on that list? Are you kidding me? Nowhere. Denny's. Where's Arby's? Where's Arby's? <laughs> well, they had the meats, but they don't have it anymore. <laughs> nah. They lost the meats. All right, all right. So in my search history, now it is Girl Chipmunks Pokemon Gen 4 Remake. Uh, uh, Pokemon 4 Remake. Shadow Leviathan. Reaper Leviathan, Ghost Leviathan, Below Zero Chalicerate, Below Zero Squid Shark, CSGO Battle, Home, Chess.com, Chess Lessons, Live Chess, Live Chess, <laughs> Cave Story, Bayesian Canadian, Jerome AFSF, Sociopath and Psychopath Comparison, Pizza with Nothing on It, Domino's, Lampka Filipino Dish, Brioche Bun, Golden Corral, Golden Corral, Lotsburg Cafe, Virginia, Lotsburg Cafe, Virginia. <laughs> What about these bad boys? Beautiful. I think that's a perfect search history. That just sums up the night. You know? That's that's blessed. Everything we talked Can't about just in boys. that search history. Can't forget yeah. these boys. I'm not gonna look at that because that means I have to click <laughs> off of the actual. Like, look at general. Just look at general, please. Okay. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. No cap look like <laughs> UFC fighting gloves. All right, but uh, I think I think this is a good stopping point. I think we got some good talks in, got some yeah, uh, talk some stuff out. This was fun. Yeah, yeah. I, I enjoyed myself quite a All bit, right. but I think so, you're gonna look back at some of this footage to say this is not salvageable. This is well, I'm just gonna post the whole thing. I don't see why not. It's a podcast. Why would I cut it up into bits? I don't know. Well, well, you're gonna need like a visualization. So I thought while doing that, you would edit a little bit of the fucked shit out. No, like fuck that. Talk we just had about some boy hooters. What the fuck you want about, dude? Why would I do that? Censorship? No, not here. Fuck out of here, bro. All right, so um, what are we called? Spud buds. Spud buds, dude. Spud buds. All right, all right. I guess we're going by that. All right, so uh, this has been Spud buds, and uh, we'll catch you later. No, we See won't. You no, no, nah, nah, we won't. No, nah, nah, 